I'm doing it before fixing it. The uh, the winding resistance part. Here is the multimeter. Just this is not the valid test for uh, multimeter test is not a valid test for the for anything. The resistance test because uh, resistance is changing while the windings are stressed. This is everybody know electrical people. But just uh, I'm just going to show you how the windings are behaving if they are new and while it was old. Just remember those things. Just I'm checking the adjacent segments 2.9 1.9 1.7 so these are the resistances and uh, 180 degrees if i will check it's giving some something 6 ohms something 5 to 6 ohms it is giving 6 ohms so this is the winding just to recall the, in the before the, the starting of the video the resistance was too much now it's uh, not too much it's, it was less sorry it was very less and now the resistance is uh, much more as uh, 6 ohm we are encountering to 6 ohm somewhat 6 ohm so this is the good resistance for this coil because these coils were bad they were short inside that's why the resistance was low uh, now we are going to put this as uh, we rewind it so just I'm holding the brushes using a screwdriver I'm pressing these brushes so that the part will sit in some way like this a little bit tricky part what I'm doing is I'm just pressing against the brushes So that just like this as you can see now the assembly is in and well we will fix the upper core so everything will be fixed in position and now you can see inside the brushes are and what is the easier way you have to remove the brushes from here but I was not about to because I was not about to break this thing I was not about to put the new brushes because they are expensive in my area I mean if I will do it myself it's okay but I was not in the condition that I have to do it now okay so now I'm going to fix this thing uh, what is known as uh, this end core so okay and these screws just I will match the holes where the one where the parts were something like this yeah so now it's okay you can see it's free to move if I will fix the screws then everything will be in proper order so just I am able to get the two screws at the moment uh, one was lost before and one maybe I lost it but for sure I will put one screw because I have screws not in my hand now but I have somewhere I have a screw a box full of screws so I will put later on these two screws which have been uh, lost if the machine will run this is for the demonstration purpose only I'm just going to show you so some way like this I have to fix it now it's fixed as you can see so everything is okay hope it will run so I'm going to electrify the unit and here as you can see these are the two wires they have been come off of the uh, some winding winding and brushes whatever this is from the assembly so just I'm going to put it in the electricity just in further demonstration purpose I'm doing it uh, you may see it how it is behaving but first important thing is I have to test it for a short for any short in the body this is not a valid test the multimeter one but it's okay up to some extent it will give me the idea as you can see if I'm touching both some low resistance and if I'm touching on the winding I'm getting very high resistance this is what the resistance of my hands if I will do it some way like this 
it's giving out of limits so it's okay now it's not short and just i'm putting it in the electricity just we will see it if it is running or not i'm not sure but i will see yeah successful so as you see it's spinning it's running right after the warning it's successful and this was what was the procedure for this machine just I have shown step by step everything to you hope this will be a guideline for the people who are going to uh, prevent their machines, their uh, AC slip, uh, AC series motor or universal motors. So I hope you enjoy the video series and you learned something. If you learned, so please subscribe, like and share the video. Here is a valid test. I'm going to do it. Uh, as you can see this one, this one is a good unit. And if you will see the color, this is yellow and here is the gray unit. And that gray unit actually came from there which we just was under uh, our repair uh, we repaired it so this was this is a good uh, known unit we are using it uh, for many years um, it is in my service uh, so here we are going to make a test on this one uh, just a current test I'm going to do and for the comparison purpose but the comparison test is uh, not my something favorite uh, because uh, whatever is the thing should be by the understanding not by the comparison and uh, just for your uh, people understanding I'm just going to make a comparison test over here uh, so we will check the current as you can see the setup this is a very loose setup you can see uh, please don't comment because uh, some safety oriented people which are over safety oriented people they are making silly comments uh, so please don't comment badly because this is just a test uh, baby is not doing instead uh, one of the expert not my not myself i'm not expert actually but just a beginner like you uh, so i'm doing but in an expert way so here is the, my setup uh, meter is on 40 ampere and this wire which is actually supplying the current to the microwave or the, to the sorry to the vacuum cleaner so this wire is going through this jaws of the clamp meter so here i'm going to test uh, this is on the 440 ampere again i'm telling uh, so just i'm switching on this machine so this will show the current for this one and then later on we will do for the other one also and you will see how they are um, behaving and so here i'm switching on you can see so now it is switched on and here is the current something 3.8 ampere 3.9 ampere 3.7 3.8 ampere it is drying 3.9 ampere so this is about 4 ampere you can see for a good known unit now i'm going to test it for the other one i'm bringing the other one in the service this one so for that i will just remove these wires and uh, plug that one so care is required over here actually So here is the cable for this one, just I am twisting wires in front of you so that you will understand how I am loosely I am doing it. Just for the testing purpose not for uh, forever, forever safety is good, safety should be. My switch light switched off, here is my light connections, okay. So here as you can see. Just I put this one and uh, the unit is switched off at the moment. Just point putting the other wire in. So some way like this. Now the meter is still in series. By this wire I am switching on the unit. Now the unit is switched on. And you can see the current. 4.2 ampere. Ampere. So current is nearly the same 
as for the other unit and you are listening a sound in the end that is for the plastic which was touching to the impeller but it's not a problem uh, and this machine will come in the service and hope it will serve its life.